Thermal analysis, or TA, refers to a variety of techniques used to measure the change in a material behavior as a function of time or temperature, either when heated, cool, or kept at constant temperature. Using thermal analysis is important to make sure materials meet specification. It's commonly used in research and development and quality control in many industries, including polymers, pharmaceuticals, food, electronics, battery materials, ceramics, and metals. How does thermal analysis work? A thermal analysis instrument consists of a furnace and a sample holder, which includes a sensor. As you either heat or cool the sample in the furnace, the sensor detects the changes in the sample's thermal or physical properties. The temperature control unit controls the furnace temperature, whilst the data recording unit records the signal of the sensors and sample temperature and analyzes them. Different type of furnaces and cooling accessories are available depending on the required temperature range. These measurements are typically done in a controlled atmosphere using purge gas typically consisting of nitrogen or air. The temperature control, data recording and analysis are all computer control. Depending on the information required, the user will select one or multiple thermal analysis techniques. The computer can be connected to several instruments which have the other type of measuring techniques enabling simultaneous measuring and analysis. What kind of measuring methods are used? There are different measuring methods available and the right method depends on which thermal properties are being analyzed. The most common methods are DSC, Differential Scanning Calorimetry, TGA, Thermogravimetric Analysis, DMA, Dynamic Mechanical Analysis, and TMA, Thermal Mechanical Analysis. Each thermal analyzer can tell you a great deal about your material's property, but sometimes the result and evaluation can be ambiguous from one technique to the other. Depending on the information required, one or multiple techniques will need to be selected. DSC measures heat flow required to go through a thermal event. These endothermic or exothermic event gives you information about thermal properties such as melting, glass transition, crystallization, chemical reaction, thermal history, and to determine the specific heat capacity. TGA measures sample mass change over time or temperature. It's used for evaluating thermal stability, decomposition temperature, and quantitative analysis of components. Some TGA can combine a DSC and TGA into one simultaneous single unit to give you a STA, a simultaneous thermal gravimetric analyzer. TMA measures change in sample dimension as a function of time or temperature. Phenomena caused by deformation includes thermal expansion, shrinkage, glass transition, and the curing reaction can be measured with this technique. DMA measures the viscoelastic properties of materials. Its main use is for glass transition detection, but it can also be used for measuring secondary transition, material stiffness, curing level, and crystallinity. The advantage of thermal analysis. The main advantages of using thermal analysis techniques other than giving you crucial information on your materials are that there are only minimal sample preparation needed, they're easy to use, and plenty of accredited methods are available to make sure you get relevant information for your product. If you want to find out more about our range of thermal analyzers, please visit our website.